on the previous lesson we created some uh, sets uh, actually and we had like a hierarchy for the full year this the two halves of a year and then the, the queues so now we want to use that definition to create a new report really really fast and again the concept still applies that we can just create one time the sets and then we can use them multiple times in multiple different reports so let's open here uh, our our pad for report painter and we will create a new report so you know transaction g r1 perfect so let's enter just the id of our library and let's set up an ID for this new report, which is going to be like this, a set uh, s uh, 7001. This is just, it will be a report using sets. Okay, uh, we will create this uh, from scratch. So let's just click create. And of course, what is important here, first of all, will be the rows because we want uh, the, the 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 hierarchy that we created. We want that to be shown in the rows. So let's just double click the first row. And of course, uh, what we defined were just periods. It was a hierarchy of periods. So let's select that one. Um, and now, if you remember, the we have used previously this uh, function that is the set a uh, hierarchy on off. Uh, but that's the point. So sometimes we have used just groups uh, like like hierarchy nodes, but we can also use sets. So let's select um, the second column there, the checkbox for the second column, and let's uh, just enter directly the uh, set that we had for the year. Okay, so uh, the system will uh, bring uh, the description correct uh, correctly uh, if we have the uh, set up um, the ID with all the characters correctly set up so that's fine we let's just check and confirm and actually we want to explode this like it's really similar to what we have done with for example cost element groups uh, so let's just come here all the way to the top to edit rows and explode and we will select the expand option so just expand so we get the detail okay now well to define the columns we won't do it manually uh, just like one by one because we already have a column model if you remember so let's use the column model so edit uh, columns and uh, let's click get column model and well if you remember we went the we created this one the app so let's use that one the actual plan variance columns so that is exactly what we want. We, we are just missing the general data uh, selection. So let's come here to select, uh, well, click here on general data selection. And well, let's uh, go for uh, controlling area, fiscal year, cost center, and cost element. Okay, so, um, well, for the controlling area, let's just have a fixed value a triple zero for the fiscal year also we'll just the current year for the cost center we will use a group and for the cost elements which in the end they hold the costs uh, we will also uh, use a group there so well for cost center we will use um, the first node of the standard hierarchy and for the cost element we will use uh, one of the uh, groups of cost elements we have been using. So it's going to be like the 100 underscore a CE. So just to uh, just to double check, this is the one that we want. Perfect. After we have done that, let's just uh, check and confirm. And but you know, the last thing we need to do is just uh, save this. Um, we'll just verify that no errors are found uh, everything's correct let's save this and before we run let's just add this to uh, assign this to a report to a report group so uh, interestingly enough we will create a new group so just for this report so uh, let's enter the id and uh, do you want to create it uh, the system will ask uh, let's say yes because this is a new report group so yes we want to create it uh, with this let's execute and um, 
Uh, of course, the system will just uh, compile. Let's uh, uh, wait for it to finish the process. And uh, we'll have the, um, after it compiles, we'll have the, the screen for the parameters. Right now, we set up everything as, as fixed. So let's just execute once again. And as you can see, well, the system will query the actual data for those cost elements and those cost centers, the plan data, and calculate the variance. That is just because we got the column model that we uh, created previously. But what's interesting is that the sets are being used here. We have the first two months for the Q1, the second uh, m next month for Q2. That is then uh, here we have the total amount for the first half. Then we have the next three months, Q3, next three months, uh, well, he just, uh, we missed the, the description, but it's Q4. And um, the uh, result for the second half, and then at the at the last, uh, we have the full year. So that's pretty much um, uh, great, because, again, if we already have uh, experience creating sets, and, and or even we in that system, system, we already have uh, created a lot of sets, we can also use them in our reports so that's a uh, perfect okay so let's just quit this report also what's interesting maybe you have some a uh, i know for example cost element groups but you don't want to create anyone you want uh, instead of creating the group um, which again is a, of course a different uh, transaction different uh, fury apps and everything you could create a set and that will be just completely independent from the existing groups that you might already have so well with this um we want to thank you as always uh, for your attention and just uh, um, uh, invite you to keep learning with all of our uh, trainings so thank you so much